To integrate 1 over 1 minus x squared, it may be easiest to first rewrite this without the fraction. So we'll bring this expression to the numerator by making the exponent negative. 1 over 1 minus x squared is the same as 1 minus x to the negative second. And to integrate this, well, this looks like we could just apply the power rule. Applying the power rule for integrals would tell us that we need to increase the exponent by 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. But then we would also need to divide by that new exponent. So we would have to divide by negative 1, which is the same as multiplying by negative 1. However, be careful because we have 1 minus x, which is itself a function, inside these parentheses. So if we were to take the derivative of this, we would get a multiplication by negative 1, which would cancel out with that negative, and then this power would reduce to negative 2, just like we want, but then we would also get another factor of negative 1 by the chain rule, because we'd have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of this inside function is just that coefficient of x, negative 1. So we would get an additional negative factor, and if we took the derivative, we would have that negative, which we don't see here in the integrand. So to correct for that, we just have to multiply by another negative factor, which means we just need to cancel out this negative here. And now this is going to work. We of course also need to add the arbitrary constant. Remember, the original integrand had no negative factor in front and now we see if we take the derivative of this we're going to get the integrand as we should the constant would just be zero if we took the derivative and then taking the derivative of this we would have negative because of that exponent multiplied by 1 minus x and then reduce the exponent by 1, so negative 2, and then by the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of that inside function, which is negative 1. So we'd have another negative factor. And of course, those two negatives would cancel out, and we would have the correct answer. So that's the integral of 1 over 1 minus x squared. If you know the u substitution method, that's basically what we did here. We just kind of talked around it to avoid applying it by name. If you don't know that method, that's a more systematic way for dealing with problems like this where we have to deal with that chain rule. But in this case, since the inside function was linear, it was pretty easy to do by just thinking and being kind of careful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more on integration and that u-substitution method. Thanks for watching.